G'day there. I'm recording in the shed today because it's blowing a gale outside and you wouldn't be able to hear me. That uh, I'm going to talk quickly about sarking. Now, the Australian sarking is actually required by law under tile roofs and it's a great idea to do it under a metal roof to catch condensation. Now, it is a waterproof layer. Um, use it as a damp course. You can use it in walls and on the roof and it actually has a slight insulating effect at um, R.2, very, very small. It's a great um, little material. Um, it has to go on before your roof sheeting goes on. Um, some people put it on under the purlins, but um, generally it's put over the purlins or the rafters and uh, it's run across the roof in strips. Um, this one is 1.2 metres wide. You can see it there. That's probably the best place to see it. Uh, 1.2 metres and it is coated blue on one side because of the glare. Originally um, it used to all like, look like this on both sides and it's a woven material um, it's a, probably, probably very very thin I'm not sure whether it's aluminium or what it is it feels like plastic to me um, but uh, silver in colour coated so that when you're walking around on the roof you can see what you're doing you don't get glared out and fall through the roof um, but uh, very very useful product slight insulating quality Certainly it, um, it's draft proofing, um, helps to keep insects out if you've got it under weatherboards or something like that, it's a sort of a vermin proofing. Um, good all, all around protection for your house and uh, as I said, tile roofs have to have it. Um, metal roofs, they're good to catch the condensation. Um, I've got it in the weatherboards, I've got it in the roof, um, so pretty much the whole house is coated with it.